Hi guys, back here with another episode. This time I want to talk about how to back up your saves on your custom firmware Nintendo Switch. Now, there are three main methods to go about this. The number one and the best way to do it is JKSV. The second way would be Checkpoint. The third way is to use DBI. All of these will work for most basic games, but in some certain games, such as Animal Crossing, where it actually saves to your device instead of your profile, especially in regards to the island, we need JKSV, which is the only save manager that I know of that's capable of doing that at the moment. So with that said, let's go ahead and open up Animal Crossing here. And we're back. Okay, as you can see, I'm loaded in have my character, my island, it's winter time. You know what? Let's go ahead and wipe this. But first things first, I'm going to do a backup. Open up uh, your open up your custom firmware homebrew menu. Hold R on your controller. It's my DualShock. I have it plugged in by a USB dongle. Press the A button. Keep holding R. Not R and not Z R, just R. And here we are. So I want to look for JKSV. Go ahead and open this up. Now, first thing I'm going to do, let's go to my profile. And I have all and all, all of these games here. So you're not going to find an Animal Crossing here because it's not saved to your profile. But what I am going to do is out here, device saves. Here's my Animal Crossing, and you see I already have some backups. Let's do a new backup. A button, let's call it uh, D-E-C, well, E, December 15th, because it is December 15th for me. And that's that. Now I'm going to go also into Bcat and Animal Crossing. And I'm going to back up this as well. As you can see, typing on the switch isn't my strong suit. Okay. But actually, they're both here. So I believe they're linked. You know what? Let's go ahead and find that out. Let's uh, back out of this. And we can delete our saves in the actual JKSV. But what I am going to do, let's go up here to the menu. Data management. Delete save data. Animal cross. Here we are. All right. Let's go ahead and delete this. Yeah, that's fine. Let's load back into the game. And looks like it's starting up for the first time. Yep, and here we are, starting off on our island paradise with Tom Nook. So this is the intro to Animal Crossing. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, close out the game, and I'm going to go back to JKSV. No, oh, there it is. Okay. Sometimes I think I have too many apps. Device. Animal Crossing. So here's what I'm going to do first. I am going to erase it so hold the zr button and press and hold a and this will delete the save that's currently on the system so if i go and reopen the game again it's going to start fresh restore highlight which one you want y and press the y button see y for restore y and hold a hold keep holding almost there ta-da and I believe that will have restored my island. Let's go back to Animal Crossing and find out. Mm -hmm. 
and here we are. We're back. So that worked. You only need to do the device save to restore. Okay, that's great. So now that we know how to deal with Animal Crossing in special cases like this, I'm going to show you how to back up your regular saves. Back again, JKSV. It's the does it all utility. So I have one main profile I play most of my games on, but I have two profiles on the system. I'm just going to back up all of my games for my main profile and dump all. Press the Y button. That's what means backup. Dump all means dump all the saves and save them on your SD card. So Y button. Oh, I only had to push it once. It didn't go, didn't ask me for any kind of confirmation. It's just doing its thing. So this doesn't take long, less than a minute. So we're going to let it go. And we're back. Okay, so now all of my saves are backed up. Let's go to something I played recently. Uh, Crash. It's about time. Okay, so Crash here, you can see one, two, three, four, five backups. So I have five backups for Crash Bandicoot 4. So it's this, basically the same process as what I did for Animal Crossing, except you go to your profile, select your game, press the A button, and here you are. And all the options are at the bottom. So you want A for backup, Y for restore, X for delete folder. If you press delete folder, all of these saves are going to get deleted. That's what delete folder does. Erase, ZR, that function is only to erase the current save on the system if you want to start from scratch. It's the same as going into the system menu and deleting save data. And B button, back, back. And we are done here in JKSV. So now that we have those backed up, I'm going to hop over to the computer and I'll show you where, where the files are located on your SD card and how to back them up to your computer. All right. And now that we're on our computer here, I have my Nintendo Switch plugged into my computer with SD card access. You can just take your SD card out and plug it right into your computer. That's always the easiest way. Or if you're comfortable with connecting it via DVI and USB cable, you can do that. So let's go over to our JKSV folder. And that's actually right here on the root, or the main directory, main section of the SD card. So what we do, copy, and I'm just going to paste it right on the desktop. Oh, sorry. It, it says copying in my second window. There we are. It's doing its thing. It's actually not that big. Save files are generally small. Something like Animal Crossing is a little bit bigger. But this will take no time at all. Okay, and we're back. So, JKSV should be, oh, somewhere on the, okay, so it went over to my main monitor. And there it is. So that's how we back up our saves with JKSV and get them onto our computer. Now let's hop over and I'll show you the next method. 